Hello basketball coaches and basketball players. Well, this one's more directed towards players. Today, I am gonna to talk to you about being injured when you're going towards a scholarship. So basketball players and basketball coaches, if you're new to this channel, usually on this channel I show you basketball plays, drills, and skills. So if you like that stuff, hit the like button and subscribe. But today I'm going to be talking to you heart to heart about something, about a player I was talking to today. Basically, a player that I know who follows this channel, uh, he is currently a grade 12 pl basketball player. He is very, very good, but he's up here in Canada, so obviously uh, looking for a scholarship down to the States. He has a few schools that are that are looking at him, but there's one thing that just happened to him a few days ago. He was in a game, he got pushed while going up for a layup, and he actually broke his ankle. That's not a very good thing that can happen. His ankle, I've seen it, it's, it's huge. So there's a few things that I can recommend for players who are going through this. Obviously, right now is February. Over the next few months, there's going to be a lot of camps and a lot of games and tournaments where universities are going to be looking at players, seeing is this player going to fit my, my playing style? Is this player going to just be good for my team in general? And those questions are asked especially right now at this time now I'm not too sure about Americans but up here in Canada we do have that extra year where we have the option to go a 13 grade 13 it's not mandatory but you do have that option you might be the same in the States I'm not too sure let me know in the comments below though if, if there is that or not in the States however basically uh, this player wanted to go down to the States, play uh, in a few different tournaments, a few different camps, and maybe get recognized. He is already a recognized player, but obviously not a five-star recruit, so he's not signed yet. So there's a few things that obviously happened. Obviously, he broke his ankle. So let's talk about that. Basically, your, your, your last year... You're going for a scholarship and you have a catastrophic injury. I'm not talking about spraining a finger. I'm not talking about spraining an ankle. Something major like pricking your, your ankle or, or arm or something. Something that's going to make you not be able to play. So how, how to go about that up here in Canada? There's obviously grade 13 that you have that option to go into the extra year. Um, basically, that's a, that's a very good option. You can say, okay, I'm out of it for this year. I still have that next extra year. I can get some extra high school credits. Maybe I can up myself from college level to university level. I'm not too sure if you have that down in the States, but up here in Canada, when you're going through high school, you have college credits and university credits. University allows you to go to university. College lets you go to go to college and there's that separation so you could in Canada up yourself to university if it's the same in the states you can do that as well or you can just go back and maybe up your grades and from there that is a great option because something like a broken ankle is going to take you out for six to nine months so being able to start over again next year and still trying to stay in shape unlike myself I made that mistake when I tore my ACL MCL and meniscus I ate the same way as when I was training and I gained a hundred pounds so when you get injured obviously cut down on your food I made that mistake you better not make that mistake but basically just stay in shape keep your education going and if you can do weightlifting or stuff that can keep you staying strong while you're off, that is another great way. When you get back on that court, go hard again because you're going for that scholarship, obviously. However, if you are in your last year, just make sure that when you're off, explain to the coaches. If there's any coaches that are looking at you, maybe you don't have that scholarship paper yet. But talk to those coaches and be like, hey, this is what happened. I broke my ankle. I broke my hand. I, I did something. And I'm not able to play the rest of the season. I don't want this to write off my career. So let, let's, 
If you're able to take that extra year, 100%, if you're going for a scholarship, 100% take that extra year. Finish your school off, get as good of grades as possible, and think of next year as bettering your grades, as well as now you're healthy again, and you can push for that scholarship. You have to remember that school and grades always come first because when you're going into the, if you want to go into the NBA, or if you want to go pro, that's a very select few players. I'm not trying to keep you down, but that is a very select few players. So you always have to have, let's call it a backup plan, which is school. And if you can get a graduation of university or college and possibly get some money off through that scholarship even is amazing. But from there too, you have to, if you're going for that scholarship, if you want to take that extra year, 100% take it. Don't try and push your way through school and to try to get out of school as fast as possible. Take that extra year and put, go with it. Go and get better grades. You can maybe up your grades from an 85 to an 89. And now with that, you can now also have an extra year of experience playing basketball and you can be an even better player. Look into a player called DeLon Wright. He didn't take a, a, a traditional approach to, to the NBA. He went to community college and he was able to make his way into university and then later on to the Toronto Raptors. DeLon Wright is a fantastic story to read. Go look it up on the internet. It is absolutely fantastic. But anyways, that is my take on getting injured when you're in your last year of, of high school. Just... I would say take that extra year if possible, email those coaches or talk to those coaches who were looking at you and in, were interested in you and say and explain to them what happened and how you yourself as a player is going to be able to go around that and get better and not wither away and get forgot about. You don't want to be forgotten about. You want to stay in that coach's eyes, and that is one way. Hey, I got injured. I cannot play the rest of the season because of the injury. This is what happened. However, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stay in shape. I'm going to continue to get stronger. I'm going to watch game tape. I'm going to make sure that I know what's going on for next year. I am going to try my best to be the best player next year. I'm going to come back next year, get better grades and upgrade my grades. And because of that extra year of experience, I am going to become a better basketball player. And that's how I would word that email. Anyways, I hope that you have enjoyed today's video. I hope this video has helped at least a few basketball players. If it has, let let me know in the comments below and I will see you again tomorrow for tomorrow's video. Basketball players, are you looking to jump higher? If you are, there's a book in the description called The Jump Training Book that is going to help you just like it has helped many other players. Hello, so if you have liked this video, click over here to subscribe or maybe over here depending on which side I put it on. I don't know yet. Anyways, uh, also the opposite direction or the opposite side is another video you may like. So I hope to see you again in one of those next videos. Yeah.